Hello friends, welcome to my channel myself Jirat Valodia. In this video, I am going to discuss about transmission modes in network, topic of computer network. So first of all, what is transmission? Transmission means transfer the data between two devices in the network, that is called a transmission. Now what is transmission mode? The way in which data is to be transmitted from one device to another device in a network is called a transmission modes. Transmission modes is also known as communication mode. So there are three different types of transmission modes. First one is simplex mode, second one is half duplex mode, third one is full duplex mode. Let us start with the simplex mode. In simplex mode, data should be transferred in only one direction. So we can say communication is unidirectional like as one way street. For example, there are two PCs are communicate with each other using the simplex mode. So one is the sender and second one is the receiver. Receiver cannot send the data and sender cannot receive the data. This is the example of simplex mode. Now see another example of simplex mode is FM radio, TV broadcasting, keyboards and monitors. In FM radio, we all are the listener of the radio is the receiver and broadcaster of the radio is the sender. So we cannot send the signal to the radio broadcaster and radio broadcaster cannot receive the signal from our side. So this is the simplex mode example. Let's see one figure. In this figure, A is the sender and B is the receiver. So this is the simplex mode. So A can send the data and B can only receive the data. B cannot send the data and A cannot receive the data. So this is the simplex mode. Next. Only one of the two devices on a link can transmit and the other one is only receive the data. Next, the simplex mode can use the entire capacity of the channel to send the data in one direction. So it means whenever uh, user A send the data to user B at that time only one sender in this channel. So maximum bandwidth of this channel is used by sender A. Next, half duplex mode. In this mode, each station can both transmit and receive the data, but not at the same time. For example, there are two PCs in the network. They both are communicate through the half duplex mode. In this mode, user A can send the data and user B will receive the data. When user A is sender, at that time B cannot send the data, only receive the data. When B is the sender, at that time user A only can receive the data. It means one is the sender and one is the receiver at the same time. Another example of half duplex mode is walkie talkie. Walkie talkie is the best example of the half duplex mode because in walkie talkie user 1 is send the message to the user 2. At that time user 2 will only receive the message but cannot send a message to the user 1. Next see the figure for the better understanding of the half duplex mode. In this figure there are two users users A and B. When user A send the data to user B, at that time user B will be the receiver only and user A is sender. When user B send the data to user A, at that time user A will receive the data but cannot send the data. Next, when one device is sending the data, at that time second device will receive the data and vice versa. Next, this mode is used in case where there is no need for the communication in both direction at the same time. Next, the entire capacity of the channel can be utilized for each direction because if user A want to send the data to user B at that time only one sender in the network. So user A will use the maximum capacity or we can say maximum bandwidth of the channel to sending the data to the user B. Next, full duplex mode. In full duplex mode, both the station can transmit and receive at the same time. For example, there are two PC in the network. so. Both the PC can send the data and receive the data at the same time. So both are sender and both are receiver at the same time. So this is the example of full duplex mode. So another example of the full duplex mode is telephone network and mobile phones. So through the mobile phones, we can talk and listen at the same time with the, each other. So this is the example of full duplex mode. Next, see this figure for the better understanding of the full duplex mode. In this figure, here it is user A and here it is user B. A can send the data to the user B and user B will receive the data and send the data to the user A at the same time. So here A and B both are the sender and both are the receiver. Next, 
In full duplex mode, sharing can occur in two ways. The first one is two physical paths are there, one for the sending and one for the receiving. The another sharing is the capacity of the link is divided between the signal traveling in the both direction. So we can say the bandwidth of the channel is shared between two users. If one user access the channel, so one user can get the 100% or we can say maximum bandwidth of the channel. If both the person can access the channel at the same time, so bandwidth will be divided between two users. Next, full duplex mode is used when communication in both the direction is required all the time. After discussion of this three transmission mode, I have one question. Which transmission mode is best for the communication? Tell me your answer in the comment section. If you cannot get the answer which transmission mode is best, so watch the next video. Comparison of transmission modes, you will get your answer. Thank you.